What is going on everyone? Riddick here and welcome to Off Shelf Air Guns. We got the Gamo Shadow Whisper here. We're just going to be doing some backyard plinking with it today. Figured I was coming out here to do some uh, plinking. Bring you right along with me. How about that? So here we go. Uh, <laughs> backyard plinking with this. I mean, it's uh, it's got some power, so you got to be careful. But it's still, as long as you're not using alloy pellets, the sound level is still pretty much backyard friendly. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Ting! <laughs> oh man. See how instant that was? I mean, the second the trigger's pulled, it's uh, it's right there. It's right there. Let's see if we can't knock down some of the resetting target guys there. Ha! Saw the paper fly off. <laughs> paper flew right off of him. All right, let's try another one. <laughs> oh yeah. Might as well keep going. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh man, I pulled on that. I pulled on that one. Good lord. All right, calm down, Billy. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go. Come on now. <laughs> Just like that. All right, well, let's try. Uh, let's try one of these spinners here. Oh, yeah. Let's try a little baby spinner there in the middle. Let's try that little baby one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's funny. Spun that right around. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. <laughs> All right. Um, let's try one of these here, these little ones. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, let's, let's go for that squirrel target. It needs to reset anyway. Well, we'll reset it first. Just like that. Just like that. And then we'll go for the top part of them, now that it's reset. Just like that. <laughs> Whoa. See? Gotta wear your eye protection, folks. Doesn't matter if it's pellets or BBs. And pellets still ricochet, too. You heard it. You heard it first. See if we can't reset this target here that we knocked down. No. Why would we be able to do that? I have no idea. Let's try it again. Oh. Oh, that's getting tricky. Tricky, tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme. It's tricky. For real? For real? Well, that's uh, getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's just at such an angle, it's hard to hit it. Up close and personal. Yes, sir. That's how we do it. I gotta get a block and set under that to make it up level so that I can actually hit that reset target portion because it's just 
pretty much impossible to hit from this angle with the way it's sloped down the hill. But hey, what are you going to do? Ha! It friggin' blew out part of that spatula thing. One more. One more here. And you know what that's going to be. Pating! <laughs> yeah, what a great backyard plinker, too. Good for all kinds of purposes. One thing I am going to point out just through using it is right here on the stock, I don't know if you can see me here, but right here on the stock where your thumb goes through, okay, right on the top where the plastic, you know, the molded plastic kind of meets, there's a little line there, right? Well, on mine, it's not quite flush. There's a little bit, you know, protruding, so every time you put your thumb in there, you can feel it scratch on that. I would just get something to kind of smooth that down, a little fine, fine grit paper, sandpaper or something, and just sand right here to smooth that down so that every time you put your thumb in there, it's not scraping on the little plastic line. Now, they may not all be like that. It might just be mine. But, yeah, something to be aware of. You may, you know, as you keep doing that, your thumb might uh, get a little red and stuff chafing from the little jagged plastic line right there. But, hey, a small price to pay for how cool this one is because it is really cool and very budget-friendly and all that good stuff. So, yeah, there you go. That said, catch you all down the road.